So next we're gonna talk about the uh, IX messaging features and it's the next generation platform on Avaya IX messaging. And there's some very key features that I feel a lot of our customers really like, like uh, allowing end users to reset their own password via their AD credentials. Uh, there's Google Docs integration, there's O365. And we're gonna demonstrate uh, a lot of those different features next. Yeah, so the password reset is a great feature for administrators. Um, most of the calls they get are users for getting their, their password for voicemail. This allows you to send them, uh, send the user a link, they can click on, they fill, they fill in their AD credentials, and it allows them to just reset their password uh, via the web. And don't they get a little cap to be a capture? Capture. Yes. So it is secure as Absolutely. well. Mm -hmm. So when we talk about uh, any voicemail, the user interface or the uh, menu, so to speak, is called a TUI, a touchtone user interface, when you dial into your phone. So if you're used to uh, deleting your voicemails by pressing seven, that's a particular TUI. And IX messaging supports multiple TUIs and it's not a system-wide uh, settings. settings. Yes, thank you, Toby. It's, it's really a uh, subscriber by subscriber. So if somebody has just migrated a, 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 from a call pilot and you want to retain that same menu structure, you just assign that TUI to that particular subscriber's mailbox. Transversely, if they're moving from uh, Unity, a Cisco voicemail, or an Octel, or Aurea, or Avaya, you can uh, support all those different TUIs. Now, the big debate on a lot of customers is, do we keep the TUI the same, so, or do we give them a whole new refresh? And I, I, would, I would argue that sometimes giving them a new TUI actually shows them they got something new. <laughs> so, so, but, it, but it can be irritating to press seven if that's delete, you know, because you're used to pressing seven for save, right. and then now it's delete. Yeah, you, you've got to know your own base. So a lot of vendors think TUI is dead, you know, like Microsoft. Microsoft actually doesn't even support TUI in their current cloud-based voicemail. Wow, well, and we have a customer, a large school district on the west side, that's how, that's how their teachers retrieve their voicemails for their students calling in sick and things like that. And that's one of the things that prevents them to go to a cloud-based voicemail on that platform is the fact they need to dial in from a phone to get their voicemails. They can't do it. That's a, th there's a lot there on TUIs and there you go. So WebLink is a very unique feature and actually a lot of our customers that are concerned about discoverability really like it. So discoverability is where uh, if a voicemail ends up in your inbox and then it could be subpoenaed and used as evidence. So the fact that the value of having a, a voicemail in your email is that you can retrieve it when you're not on your computer, you can get it on your smartphone. But what WebLink does, it sends you a hyperlink that streams it securely from the server. So the hyperlink is embedded in an email, but the actual voicemail is not in your email. So another important feature is fax. Um, everybody thought fax would be dead by now. Oh uh, no, but faxes are not dead. So certainly still alive. Uh, full stack fax support uh, on the IX uh, messaging platform. Um, so you can not only receive faxes into group mailboxes, you can send faxes, cover page, et cetera. Everything you're used to with an electronic fax service. Right, and I think the other uniqueness is it could, as Tobin mentioned, a group mailbox. So if the users are monitoring something and that is typically it's assigned to an individual mailbox this supports group mailbox it also has um, fax detection support too so if a fax machine goes to your mailbox and it's a fax you hear the fa it hears fax tones it receives that as a fax even in your personal mailbox with your with your same number So uh, transcription is something that I'll, our customers that have used it really like it. And what it is, is the ability to, or, or when a voicemail is left, uh, a transcription of that voicemail is transcribed to an email and sent to your inbox. So 
So it's not the actual uh, WAV file, which it could be. It's optional, a very customizable. However, and it's not 100%, I mean, it's with like my last name, they never get it right, but uh, for, you get the gist of it. Uh, it could be a premise based on your prem, it could be hosted in someone's cloud. It does uh, require an extra license, so just be aware it's not included in the base package, but transcription is um, a really cool feature that uh, for those people that are uh, a mobile worker. Another feature we'll talk about a little bit is, is unified messaging. Unified messaging is as simple as getting a voice file in your email uh, client. It can be an MP3 or a WAV file. Um, you can, not only you can get the WAV file, but you can also get a link that's uh, to the WAV file, secure WAV file, or you can get notified that you have a voicemail. So there's many options as far as unified messaging goes um, to the client. Well, and I think the one thing key is when you listen to that or stream it, it does turn out your message waiting indicator. That's a nice feature. So you don't go back to your phone and go, oh gosh, did I get that message or not? So it is tied back to the, the phone system to turn out that dreaded light. As you can see, IX messaging is a very feature rich and very customizable platform. Please contact Serum Networks for additional information and we'd love to show you and talk to you more about IX messaging.